The United Nations Special Advisor on Sport for Development and Peace, Mr Wilfred Lemke, has arrived at Rugby League Central ahead of a trip to New Caledonia for the Pacific Youth and Sports Leadership Summit where he'll share the UN's vision for peace with around 1,000 youths. Deliver a speech about my mandate, about my priorities and how we can use sport as a tool for development and peace. This is the most important topic of my work. I have five uh, different priorities, uh, which I will uh, explain to the participants of uh, this big, big Congress. And what can we do to make our life better through sport? A group of eight young NRL representatives who have taken part in the NRL's One Community School to Work and In League In Harmony programs will head to the summit. Among the group, there will be NRL delegates that will join the 18 to 25 year olds from several countries across the Pacific region. Yeah, it's just empowering the youth um, in, further, like in whatever they want to do in their life and um, teaching them life skills, basic life skills, and, and um, giving back to their communities in the, the most effective way. The main aim of the summit is to talk about how sport can tackle challenges within communities, including health, education, employment opportunities and social inclusion. If we can play footy in peace and in harmony, we can also go out there and, you know, in our communities and do the same thing. Caitlin Regan, a 2012 graduate of the NRL's Learn Earn Legend School to Work program, has never travelled overseas before and hopes to get as much out of the experience as possible. What I really want to get out of it is something that will not just help me, but maybe it will help the whole youth of Australia. I want to bring something back that we can use as a tool to make sure that people don't just think sport is a way to get out of school. It's actually an educational tool. The group head off on December 1st and will spend seven days in New Caledonia. Amy Lindsell, NRL News.